Saskia here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and I have a treat for you guys today. I know a lot of people like it. It's kind of weird, I suppose, but I have a beautiful teddy guinea pig here with really crusty ears. So I'm going to clean it, and some people just love watching that. I mean, I would. I do. I like doing it, too. I'm a little weird. But anyway, <laughs> um, teddies are really prone to get dry ears as well. So you want to always keep an eye on your teddy. If you've never checked and you have a teddy, go check your teddy right now and you will feel inside and you'll see that there's lots of crusty stuff. Um, they pretty much all get it, especially when they get a little older as well. So, Do textiles get it too? Uh, you know, not as bad as teddies, but they do. Not as bad as teddies. Teddies really are, like, they have it, really have it. So, okay. Let's look in the ears. Let's have a look. <laughs> I think he had only been here. Wow. Can you see it good? Yeah. She just got there. Oh, it's so dark. It's, yeah. it's, wow, look at that. It's like literally there's like chunks. Like he probably can't even hear out of that ear. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always wonder. Like, gosh, they, they got to be deaf because <laughs> it's clog clogging up so much. So, yeah, so what are you like using? That you can just so tweezers? Out. No, and I was thinking if there's a little chunk, I can just pull out like oh, that okay. and show you, but... I know, it's cute, isn't it? Okay, so, olive oil. Just a few drops that will soften everything up, and it's just, I'm not putting anything in the inner ear canal, I'm just putting it on the outsides. There's like all these little nooks and crannies in the guinea pig's ear. So just regular olive oil. Olive oil, and then I just kind of massage it in. Can they use any other kinds of oils? Yeah, you can use mineral oil. Sure. But um, what, I, I just love this one. What yeah, about sure. baby oil? Do you recommend using baby oil? Yeah, that can, that's fine too. Sure. Coconut oil. And then, oh yeah, this one too. I just put the oil in so you can't really see as much, but... Oh yeah, you can. How's it going? So, massage yeah. it in, and then here comes the fun part. This is where I take out the... And I start on this side, because often this will also be dirty here. And then and also I go digging, really. The color of their earwax is the color... Yes! The color of the skin is what the color of the earwax is. So you have a, a biggie with black skin, then the stuff that comes out is like black. Like this is yeah, black. So this is brown. No, it's actually more brownish. So, you know, kind of. But the black is like black black, like midnight black. Okay. So uh, you want to zoom in and, and watch Hi, Scotty. this part. Is what? You guys doing a video? Okay. Ear cleaning. Ear cleaning. Yeah. You're too busy. You were too busy. Oh, man. Never too busy. I'm on this side of the camera. <laughs> For change. All right, zoom on in. Okay. Whoa. Build up. So what do you do if they're really squirmy? So you guys came all the way from New Mexico? Um, you know, you can wrap them in a towel and that really helps. You wrap them up real good. I mean, I just hold them against me, so this is easy to do. See, she's here, and it's nice when the table is a little higher up, so I can hold her against me, and then I can do this with my thumb. See that? I can do this. And I'm holding her completely, um, you know, she feels secure because I'm really kind of, I mean, if you're just going to do it like this, you're, you're never, you know, just like that, you're not going to do it. So you want to hold her against you. And don't you say you usually stop if they squirm too much to give them a minute to breathe? Yeah, if they're really struggling and fighting me, then I say, okay, let's give you a break and then we'll just start again. So this is just one ear? Or two? Yeah, this is one ear. It feels like three though. And it's actually, I thought there was going to be more. But I know there's a little more here somewhere. There. Hi honey, I know. I'm sorry. Here, why don't you go have a snack while I do that. Good girl. Alright. Wait, who's that? 
So how often do you recommend do, you doing cleanings for teddies on the air? So we recommend that you always like do the nails and, and do the, everything to check every two months. So that's when we recommend people come here when they adopt. So listen, come over for your health check every eight weeks because that is, uh, you know, that's a good time. But this has been a little longer than eight weeks because of the build up. But then again, they do get a lot of build up. Uh, and you know what this is? This is this is not an earwax. This is more like overactive skin cells. Oil and that thing get a little oily sometimes, or, or dry. They can be oily. Can also be dry. Ted is usually dry. Um, so it's it's overactive skin gland, you know, skin glands. What am I saying? Uh, skin cells. <laughs> Did I say skin glands? No. Okay. <laughs> Bore glands. It's been a long day. Um, so yeah, skin cells, and that just produces uh, to an excess, and then that's what what happens here with the teddies, you know. So usually it's really the teddies that's dirty, but you have gotta check all your piggies really, especially when they get a little older. When they're young, there's really not much there. To clean. How old is this piggy? She is. Hi. She's probably about three. You like doing an air bath? Mm -hmm. I know, it's so not fun. That's just complaining sounds, right? I know. It doesn't this is hurt not, her. That's no, just... it's not hurting her. She just. It's, on, it's annoying. She shakes her head because she just doesn't want me to, you know, do this. <laughs> you know, some people have a hard time differentiating Between pain sounds pain versus, versus annoyed versus, sounds. Yeah. So this is annoyed this sounds. This is annoyed. Like, lady, I, you know, you've been doing I've this for it. a while now. I've had it. Can you please stop? I want to get back to my carrot. But... Yeah, there's some stuck here as well. So, see, it's not helping that she's shaking her head all the time because I'm really, I can't really get in there because she shakes me, shakes me off. So, oh, sweet pie. Um, yeah. So, it might actually help if I wrap her up. Actually, that would be good to show how to yeah, properly wrap a guinea pig it. for an ear cleaning. Let's do that. Okay. So when you wrap a guinea pig for stuff like this, you wanna. This is what I do. I tuck in the back like this and that prevents them from backing up because they like to do that whenever you're doing something they don't want they'll start backing up so there like looking in their mouth some are really notorious for just like running backwards and just escaping so this prevents them from going backwards so this this really helps a lot so okay but well we were we were working on this ear so we're gonna turn it around all right let's see come on mommy i know there's still a bunch in there in fact, if she'll let me, I can maybe just... So now that the tweezers help you grab bigger Yeah, tests. but you got to be really careful with tweezers because you obviously, like she's shaking her head, I, I don't want to hurt her. So it's, it's, you know, it's a toughie. Sometimes I'll just use my nail, which sounds really gross. <laughs> um, whatever works. Whatever gets the job done. Yeah, because yep, this one helps. is like kind of low down, and I can't really use this because it's too big to scoop it. So I just use my nail. Because then what I'm doing is actually just pushing it back in there, so I want to get it out. I think I got that one. It looks a yeah. whole lot better. I think I got yeah, it. Yeah, it actually you can actually see the skin color so, in there. Yeah, so this is what you want to see. This nice, clean. You can see the ridges of the ear. The fold. See, I knew there was another glop there. Oh, look at this. Another big piece. Oh, honey, honey, honey. Let's see, another big piece. Where did it go? It's right here. Cool. Oh, so sweetie. A, a loose she loves a pet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let's do this for a minute. Let's do this for a minute. They don't really have a place for Precious thing. You're such a good girl. They have 
I'm so I'm going to trick you. I'm going to trick you and just go in there real quick. You don't even notice. Wow, that is a big piece. Big piece. Um, but like Newport Beach. Look at all that. Huntington Beach. Kind so, of area. see, I tricked you. We got it. Yeah. We got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. She's good now. Yeah, but they're just like, good. Kind of like She's so gorgeous. Okay. Look at her. Like, so fluffy. Look how precious. Medicine. Oh my gosh. Look at that face. Teddy. I love the teddies. Um, looks like, so um, our, looks like Scotty's Gary. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. He does look kind of like Gary. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, here, have a look before you go. Let's show what actually came out this year. The satisfying part? Yeah. You know, looking all like, the earwax. <laughs> Not wax. Oh. Skin cells. Skin Excess cells. skin. Not oh. earwax, skin cells. So, yeah, come on in. So, generally speaking, Thanks, guys. Like Don't forget to subscribe.